What about the way that um, anti-Semitism is being fought by American Jewish institutions? What's your sense of, uh, of how well the issue is being addressed? Look, after, after the end of the Second World War, after the defeat of the Nazis, uh, there was uh, a period of time where anti-Semitism didn't disappear, but it was at a non-lethal, for the most part, a non-lethal level. It was not considered uh, polite to publicly, uh, you know, m make statements, uh, ugly statements about Jews and the Jewish people. Uh, but, you know, that's, that time now is, uh, is over. Uh, especially uh, in re you know, regions around the world. But in this country, it's perfectly fine for people to take the, the stereotypes that have been used historically against Jews about being uh, bloodsuckers, etc., and apply them to the Jewish state. So Israel has become the personification of Jews. And so we see this vicious, you know, gra groundswell of hatred being expressed against, against Israel. We, we hear state-sanctioned calls for the destruction of the Jewish state. And, you know, in general, it's, it's just not a big deal to people. Well, how well do you feel our current institutions well, are? So, so well, so, so I think that, uh, you know, the, the strategies that have been um, employed by major Jewish organizations were strategies that worked when we weren't faced with lethal threats. And they were able to deal more with, you know, social services and, you know, uh, data collection on uh, graffiti. But that's not the situation today. Today we're facing the possibility and the probability in region and, and the actual the reality in, in areas around the world of lethal Jew hatred. We're seeing Jews being murdered. We're seeing Jews that are being brutally beaten up with metal rods and hammers. We're seeing, you know, Islamist Jew haters chasing eight-year-old girls into schools, grabbing them by their hair and 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 Blasting, uh, blasting their heads with bullets. But when we see anti-Zionism on, on on television throughout European and uh, uh, Asian and South American and to to a, 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 a greater and greater extent on, on the internet, mm -hmm. Americans are seeing it on uh, on RT Russia Today and on press TV. Mm -hmm. How effective do you think the current management in those institutions is is okay, uh, fighting this? So. As I was saying, that there are old strategies, and there are old strategies in a, for an environment that really did not have a lethal threat. Uh, we can't continue like that, and we we also, as good decent people, cannot rely on organizations to do that work for us. We need grassroots organizing. We need flexible organizations. We need cadres of good citizens that will work together, that have the courage to stand up in the public s square and speak out. So we need a different model. You think that'll come from outside those institutions? I think that it needs to be grassroots. We need to have the majority of citizens standing up and saying no. Now that doesn't mean that uh, some of these organizations, if they wanted to, uh, it doesn't mean that they can't ad adopt more uh, effective strategic strategies, but we certainly can't wait for that to happen. And we do need, we do need to, to, to think about the kinds of organizations uh, and groups and individual actions that are necessary in order for us to fight this growing th lethal threat. If people wanted to find your film, are they able to see it online, or how can they view it? 
Well, the film has a website, uh, www.unmaskedthemovie.com, and they could see the trailer there, they could order DVDs there, they could read more about the film and reviews, they could read more about the commentators in the film on that website. There's also uh, trailers of the film on YouTube. Um, and the film itself, can people watch it on Amazon? Like Amazon On Demand? or um, Actually, soon uh, they will be able to. Uh, Doc Emmett Productions is going to be working with another organization so that the film will be available on Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and, and other channels. But today people can watch it on DVD? Today people can watch it on DVD or there are community screenings that are being uh, sponsored all over North America. And if you go on www.unmaskthemovie and you click on screenings, you'll see the screening schedule.